Um, hi, Luke. Oh, hi, Ellen. Uh, uh, sorry, um, happy holidays. Am I late for the Christmas party? Sorry, I've just got something I need to quickly finish. And uh, what's that? Well, Mike found this clue. Check it out. See, Kippers, ah, oh, Kippers in the game. He's in there somewhere. I just have to find him. I've searched from Saint Denis to Blackwater. I'm just working my way down now to Armadillo. Um, look, I think you might have lost track of time somewhat. You missed Christmas. It's January. You've been playing this for about three weeks. <laughs> missed Christmas. I think I'd remember. I set an alarm. Oh, that's weird. My phone died. When did that happen? Probably around the 20th of December. Oh. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Yeah. He's a cat. They hide. I've met a lot of cats in and the game, I'll give you that. Anyway, we can pause the search yeah. briefly for half an hour and then I have to make some calls to family and friends. <laughs> <laughs> Explain where you were. Apologise. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, games. Okay, so yeah. 2019 games. Yay. Happy New Year, Happy by New the way. Year, everyone. Woo. Oh, that's good. Yeah, hand fireworks. A lot cheaper, let me tell you that. Amaze your family this year and save money. She's standing at the end of the garden. You can do any kind you want. That's a rocket, obviously. Catherine Rule. Catherine Rule, perfect. Want a Roman fountain? Why spend more? Stand back, kids. Don't go towards it. It's it ne never wants to <laughs> yeah. you, could eat, you could do safety tutorials as well. Wait for the kids to walk towards your hand and then be like, no. <laughs> that could have gone off in your face. <laughs> could have been blind. The game I'm going to talk about is called Into the Breach. I saw it popping up on a lot of end of the year, like game of the year lists. Oh. I was reading through the Eurogamer one where they all say what their favourite games of the year was. And this one kept popping up, uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. It is uh, made by the people who did Faster Than Light, if you ever played that, which was FTL. a... FTL. FTL, which was a very intense, very complicated sort of strategy thing, mm. but with this kind of nice retro style. And this is uh, kind of the same ethos, except this time it's an isometric top-down strategy game where you have to kill some alien bugs using uh, different types of mech units. There was a game uh, series for the Game Boy family. Um, they haven't made one in a little while and it was called Advance Wars, and uh, this is a little bit like that. So it's a, it looks kind of cutesy, but it's this devilishly tough strategy game. And it's perfect for the Switch, because each game lasts maybe just a few minutes long. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Love and, it. and um, it, it works fine with the, like, the controls aren't difficult, you're just sort of like moving a cursor around more is or less. Is there any like touchscreen-y stuff? Do you know, I actually haven't tried, but um, the, the, I've found the, the stick thing so and intuitive and easy that I haven't even pressed the screen to, in the moment it would take to find out, I haven't even bothered. <laughs> so it says on screen now if it has touchscreen controls. There are a bunch of cities and it's your job to protect them and you have mech units to do that and they have their own health. Now at first when you start playing this, if you've played any other strategy games or just from video games generally, you'll be like, well I want to keep my mechs alive, that's yeah. probably the most important thing, to not die. However, the most important thing is that you protect the cities. Right. Because they're about like six or seven cities on the map and if one falls it comes up with like oh 67 people died or whatever and you're like well yeah but there's loads more so you're not you might not immediately panic because you only got three mechs and obviously if your mechs die that's a yeah. big problem however what soon becomes apparent is that the cities are like pumping energy into this sort of power grid when you start the game um you have maybe sort of five or six energy cells which yeah. means you can only take six cities going, and when you finish a little campaign, you start another one and there are new cities, and if any of those die, they, it, like, it carries over. So you can go into a mission with only one city left, and that means that if one city goes down, it finishes. And that's when I realized that as well as having this sort of like turn-based strategy thing, this game is a lot like something like 
dead cells oh, where yeah. you where you start a run uh, and try again and again and again trial and error almost exactly yeah. yes cool. it is it's a really cool idea so when you get a game over uh, all your pilots are like well this went terribly let's jump into a different <laughs> timeline and see if that goes any better and you can carry over some very 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 uh, minor um, upgrades and modifications, but like Dead Cells or Dark Souls or those kinds of games, what you're really carrying over is the sort of knowledge and memory of how it goes and you get a little bit better. So, the, so you'll find yourself getting a little bit further every time. At the start, there are three types of mech units that you have. There's one who's a big robot mm. and he's in charge of pushing things hard. So he sort of walks up and goes mm, like that to nice. enemies and it sort of pushes them a block. You have one that's a tank. And then uh, you have an artillery unit, which um, which does a complicated thing. It's a lot like chess in the way that you have to think mm, about like sounds it. yeah, like moving the enemy, like like shunting them kind of one step or this. Trying to think about how your units can move mm -hmm. and trying to make them work fit together in a in a tactical way uh, to get like the most efficient turn. Uh, new enemies bubble up all the time, and you can push a unit on top of that square to block them, or you can go on that square, but then you take damage, and then there are forests and they catch fire, and if you're on a fire square, that does extra damage. And if I'm sort of like frowning now, it's because there's a lot to remember, and although it's introduced in a way that makes it very easy to remember what everything does and very intuitive to play, it is hard. Mm -hmm. It's a hard game. Yeah. I think it's too hard for me. So back to Mario Rabbids and said, "Yeah, back to Mario Rabbids," <laughs> which is still good and intuitive. Not yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a boring, easy game. I really want to get better at this because, like, I don't play a lot of strategy games, but mm. people who know about strategy games say that like this is a, a brilliant one and that yeah. it's got this incredibly tight uh, game design. I quite like difficult games. I like the feeling of like like banging your head against a wall until you sort of very very slowly like get. Better well, at it. you completed Dark Souls, no, and you, you you completed. I watched our Fresh Mems video, and I was oh, like, I yeah. forgot how legendarily like you finished that last boss. Yeah, I, I watched you that back. You carried the hell out of that guy. I watched that video so back. So good. I have no idea how that how so I did proud that. Of you. It was operating so proud of on you. pure instinct. <laughs> but games like Dark Souls, you can you sort of die and 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 stuff, and and it's frustrating, of course. But you you like oh well, once I sort of get into the rhythm of the fighting more and stuff, like you know that you'll get better. I found Dark Souls almost to be kind of relaxing to play because mm. it's sort of. Soothing and it's very slow paced very for slow what paced. is a kind of stressful game. Whereas this game, I, I am finding it difficult in a way that is hurting my head. <laughs> and the problem I know is that I'm not intelligent enough. And and that oh, is frustrating because no. well I'm not sure how I can get more intelligent. Does anyone know? Education. Oh, it's too late for that. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Can't go back to school now. The intelligence I have now is the intelligence I'm going to have for the rest of my life, and it's not enough to be I, into the breach. <laughs> I, no, I find often with games like that, it's, it's about patience, and it's whether you have the time to sit and just be like, yeah, I'm going to try yeah. this again and again and yeah, again yeah, and yeah. again. So it's easier to be patient with a game that has certain things that you enjoy doing so the combat in Dark Souls is very satisfying so yes, people are true. patient with that game because mm. you know they like the combat ultimately if you're not really a strategy person like I'm I'm someone who I can sometimes do strategy games but most of the time I'm like oh, I don't have time for this yeah which is why when I played Mario Rabbids uh, I was just like oh my goodness, this is brilliant because it had the bright shiny colors that I needed to pay attention basically Sweet, and I was like I get it now <laughs> I like it when so. the Mario shape goes wahoo. Yeah. <laughs> but I know I know exactly what you mean, and I'm I'm a little bit concerned that I know how to get better at this game. It's to play it enough that I can that I can understand the game so fully that I can be thinking moves ahead, yeah. rather than just like fighting to survive every turn. I can be like anticipating. Be mm -hmm. Like if I go here, I know they're going to move there. I know that it's possible. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy the process of getting better enough to get better, if that mm. makes sense. But I have had that thing that when I'm not playing it, I'm like, oh, I could go for a, you know, like if we weren't working like right now, I'd, I'd probably just go sit and play it. Have play a quick, games. quick match. It's, it's, I think it really helps with those like bite-size mm. type 
um, matches on yeah. games like that. I mean, it was like, oh, I'm just going to sit here and just yeah. play one one round. That'll be good. Exactly. And I do, uh, rather than like a 60 hour like Total War kind of campaign or something, but I do like that it's got that sort of Dead Cellsy thing where you like you keep going and every time you get a little bit better and you can carry just a tiny little little smidgens of stuff like over each each playthrough. Yeah. That's really fun. Um, you get quite attached to your pilots. They all have names and when they die, they die permanently and, and yeah, you have to keep going without them. Which is really annoying because they level up and get skills. And then when you get a game over, you can only take one through into the next timeline. And If you haven't heard of it and you are a strategy fan, if you like things like um, maybe XCOM or if you liked Advance Wars, then I, I think this will just be like sweet catnip for your strategy senses. As for me, I'll, I'll see how we go. His hard man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that is Into the Breach. Mm -hmm. Or ITB, as everyone's calling it. That took me way too long to figure out what Into the Breach Because you were thinking Into... Yeah. I was thinking I-N-2-T-B. <laughs> <laughs> I am I-N-2 the Breach. Step up to the streets. <laughs> Anyway, um, another game that is coming out on the Switch. Oh wow! Is uh, is you know you know our our, ba our pals who just you were saying about how you like the Mario shape. I like the Mario shape. <laughs> it goes wild. He goes wild. But he's back. He gets the yellow shapes. Um, thank. You. He's jumping across from the Wii U with new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. <gasps> New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is a special re-release of Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U, bringing two great games to the Switch for anyone who missed them on Wii U, which was everyone because no one bought a Wii U. <laughs> Luke. That's fair. Are yes. you excited? Because I've never played this game. <laughs> I am excited. Like everyone else, I didn't play this game. <laughs> it almost feels like a free Mario game. I know. Do you know what I, mean? I mean, like obviously I'm going to have to pay money for it, but, but, but like... like Free. Oh my god, I knew I knew I knew we didn't have to do anything. Yeah, Yay. I know. And Nintendo's probably like that as well. Nintendo, like, Nintendo's like mm, I nearly called them Nintendo, but non non Nintendo. Non 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 <laughs> it's January, guys. Nintendo. But yeah. Luke. Yes. Super Mario uh, new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. <laughs> Let me hear the full name again. New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Sure. Gives That's you it. a ton of power-ups to grab. Luke, I'm going to name these. Yeah. Uh, just some of them. Guess what powers that they give you. Amazing. Okay. All right. Yeah. First off is the Fire Flower. The Fire Flower gives uh, Mario or the Bearer. Um, I'm putting it in legal terms. Mm -hmm. uh, the right to um, shoot f fireballs out of their hands. Like, bloop, 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 like that. Yes, that is correct. Classic. Then we have the slightly different ice flower. Oh, the ice flower. Um, so that's a new one on me, but I'm guessing that the ice flower fires like snowballs or balls of ice mm -hmm. that, that freeze mm -hmm. opponents when it hits them. Yes. And uh, a little bonus point, what, what extra can you do once you've frozen them? Smash their heads off, open, smash their faces off. Um, and now you can jump on the ice block. Oh, oh yeah, jump on the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Use it as an extra platform. Oh yes, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> That was gonna be my very next guess. <laughs> <laughs> mini mushroom. Ooh, uh, well, a mini mushroom does that make you small? Makes yeah, you it does. Makes you teeny weeny. Go a little bit. Then there's the propeller mushroom. I don't think I've come across that in a Mario game before that I've played. Can it make him like hover in a kind of <laughs> kind of way, like? Up. Can you go up on the spot without having to run? Put Pretty much. It, it helps you do a big jump and then you can kind of gradually Oh, and then you down. Foot, 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 foot down. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then you have the superstar. The superstar renders the bearer uh, the right to be invincible to all damage yes. for the duration of a tune that goes... <laughs> Then you can be wounded. Yeah. Perfect. Bam. Then there's the super acorn. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does the super acorn turn you into a squirrel? Uh, Specifically. A flying squirrel? Yeah. Hey, nice. Obviously you get the, come on guys, a super acorn. <laughs> That's basic. A child knows that. And finally, hmm. the penguin suit. 
course. Uh, the penguin suit. Okay, this is half an educated guess, half like a recovered memory from watching some trailer at some point or yeah. something. Does it, it, well, it makes you look like a little penguin. Yes, correct. So that's one benefit. <laughs> a, a massive benefit. A ma the enormous benefit of looking like a penguin. Does it let you slide on your belly? Yes! Yes! Cool. Also, also. Oh, there's another one. Eat loads of fish. No. Without getting sick. No. Live in a zoo. No. <laughs> Be hunted by an orca. <laughs> one, one that has already been mentioned. Oh, ice, ice, yeah. ice. Does it make you do yeah. ice? Does it make you get <laughs> really excited? You, if you touch things, do they go on ice? Oh, you can shoot ice fireballs. Balls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then cool. finally, Snow another balls. little added benefit to it. You've got a beak. I um, mean, that, that's you useful. Carry an egg for a whole year. Yeah. What do penguins do yeah, when they're not time. swimming? Huddle. Well, they hang do. Out, hang but out. They need to be able to get close together to huddle. Can and to do that, they walk, waddle. The waddle? They waddle like this? Yeah. Um, on what? Ice. You can walk on ice. Yeah. But more easily. Got it first ice. time. Yeah. <laughs> Got it easily first time. Great. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Walk on ice. That's a good power. Yeah, nice. Well done. Well done. Cool. Full, full marks. <laughs> Clean 100%. Clean 100%. Now, saying cool. we've been saying jokingly that it is a re-release, but it isn't strictly true as they have done some upgrades. Some additions have been made. Okay. In this game, two new characters have been added to the roster. Characters that you can play as. Okay. So in the initial releases, it was Mario, Luigi, and then two different toads. Yeah. Color swapped toads, which is rubbish. But now, <laughs> because. Oh, why Nintendo? Yeah. The first char new character is Nabbit, which is a little rabbit <laughs> that steals things. Yeah. So it nabs it. And he's got a little, she's got a little sack, and then she's got a little bandit <laughs> mask. Tell me who the second is. Nabbit doesn't take damage from enemies. Okay. And the second is Toadette. <laughs> Well, Luigi cannot catch a break. <laughs> well, he's a bad Two guy. Two new characters to put in the game. I think we all know what people want. Nabbit. <laughs> Nabbit the thieving. What is, what's Wario, Nabbit? Wario isn't in it. What's Nabbit called? Nabbit, 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 the, it's Nabbit a, the rabbit. It's a rabbit <laughs> that steals things, so it nabs things, popular, so it's Nabbit. Popular character, Nabbit the rabbit. <laughs> I've slightly killed Luke here. No, I'm sorry, I just think it's funny but, that Waluigi can't get in a game. Okay, so Nabbit doesn't Bless take damage from enemies. And Toadette, mm. instead of just being a pallet swap toad, she has the additional thing of being able to turn into Peachette should she pick up a super crown, allowing her to double jump, float slowly during free fall, mm -hmm. and get a boost back up if she falls into a pit! Exclamation mark from Nintendo's site. Nice! Um, <laughs> Luke. Kind of dark. Yep. If you could have one of these powers, which would you choose? Oh, hmm. It would be good to not take damage because, I mean, obviously that's great. But then it would be good to be able to turn into Peach. With Peach, it makes the platforming easier. Don't care about that. Care, just care about being Peach. Living that sweet Peach life. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sweet. Have a castle. <sighs> Great hair. Yeah. I'll take getting out of a pit. Yeah. I, it would be nice. I'd like to go through life not afraid not of holes. Not afraid of pits. <laughs> you can go mountain climbing, no problem. No problem. Go to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, just be, be like, like, check this Whoop. out. Whoa. <laughs> They'll be like, Luke's falling down that pit. What an idiot. He shouldn't have done that. I'll be like, jokes on you, suckers. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now he looks dumb. <laughs> and they will be like, that's supernatural. <laughs> Let's dissect him. Find out how he did it. Speak. If you ever get superpowers, never show them off. You will get dissected by the government. Speaking of Peachette, yeah. when the trailer initially dropped, yes. some wondered what would happen if Bowser picked up the super crown sure. and thus Bowsette was born, bringing life to a lot of amazing fan art, yeah. much of which we will never be able to show on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's really cool. And the time was like, so it's like, oh, oh, oh I have to delete my browser history, I? <laughs> <laughs> or my Bowser history. Hey, nice. Very good. Uh, but Luke, <laughs> please yeah. pick a number okay. between one and six. Yeah. The character you choose will then be the one that you must draw as their princess et form. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll try and make my drawing safe for work. Yes. <laughs> try. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> everything else you've yeah. <laughs> I can't promise anything. <laughs> uh, okay. Look in his artwork. <laughs> number, 
<laughs> number this is slander. <laughs> number between one and six, right? Yeah. One. Is that good? Do I want one? Uh, Do I want two? I, I think one. I'm doing is the a most cold basic, reading now. So all the all the others are a bit more fun. Okay, three. <laughs> I think two. Maybe I want four. Mm, mm. Oh, you. You could, yeah. Maybe I want five. The great thing about Anna is that her laughter is so <laughs> instinctive and uncontrollable <laughs> that I can cold read her in instances like this. I'm Would gonna you get. Wanna roll a dice. No, I don't want to roll a dice. I'll pick two. Okay. Two. You have to draw. Yeah. Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi, Princess Yoshi. Princess Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi finally getting a break. Oh, Yay! that's nice. That's nice for Yoshi. Would you like to know what the other options were while while you start drawing? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So one was Mario. Two was Yoshi. Yeah. Three was Waluigi. Oh, already Four a was princess. Boo. The people's princess. Five was Luigi, and six was Shy Guy. Oh. So I just think a sh shy girl might be oh, quite shy cute. Princess Shy Guy. That would have been good because Shy Guy is real easy to draw. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. You of, got Yoshi. This is going to be a challenge of remembering what Yoshi looks like and then princessifying. You, would you? It. I'll give you. I'll give you. No, no, no. I would rather. Yoshi. No, I would rather go purely on instinct. I All think. Right. I, I think I remember. Well enough. <coughs> okay, I remember that his nose is basically a big orb. Yes. That's m mostly what I remember. Okay, and I think I'm about done right, and right. ready to talk you through it. Yeah. When Yoshi gets the crown, this is what you get. Oh! Right? Is that a diamond encrusted shell? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it is because Yoshi's so fancy. He's got the money now. <laughs> oh, Mario's like, can I have a piggyback? How about no, Mario? Uh, or how about, better still, yes, hop on. Oh, wait, I'm diamond encrusted now and I've ground your legs down to nothing with my diamond shell. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, Andy's here. We're, we're doing normal things. <laughs> what on earth have you drawn? We're doing normal things. Show it I'm to a normal me. adult man. Show, it to <laughs> me. Show me. It's a Yoshi. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a Yoshi cross with a peach. It's what happens. <laughs> it's Yoshette! It's, it's yeah. Yoshette! It's Yoshette, Yoshette, Andy, get on board! <laughs> I'm sorry, do you, are you not up on internet culture like us? <laughs> like me? But it's Yoshi, and uh, look. Looks it, like a praying mantis. It, <laughs> to the untrained eye. Now Yoshi has ugly blobby hands, which I don't which like. Replaced which I've replaced with. <laughs> no, dinosaur claws. But still in the tasteful white gloves, because it's a princess. And you'll see in Yoshi's tongue, where once there was basic fruit, there is now a scepter that Yoshette will use to um, wallop people about the head with if they dare to cross her or displease her in court. I think it's pretty much flawless. <laughs> yeah. 10 on 10. Are you happy enough, Ellen? <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Me. Yeah. Very good. good. All right. Well, we can all agree that that's good and normal. I'm leaving now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Andy's coming back, guys. Well, I think we've learned all we can about new Super Mario Brothers U you Deluxe. Deluxe. Yes, that is right. Uh, maybe we should use our flexible tongues to grab scepters and find out what you guys have been royally decreeing in the com are you gonna go with me on this one in <laughs> the in, in the comment <laughs> last time we were on the sofa for a full show of the weekend was a whole year ago sort of back at the end of 2018 luke quizzed me on the biggest games that came out in the last 12 months but not before i got hung up so to speak on spider-man enter the spider-verse how the hell did you get up there? Well, I went and saw Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and now I think I might be Spider-Woman from this universe! Ellen, I'm, I'm sorry, but Spider-Man's not real. Really? So how am I on the wall then? I honestly don't know. Oh. N neither do I. Ah! You alright? No. Commenter Christian Price said, Wait, Ellen, where'd you go? Anyway, here's the comment. I guess Ellen was on the wall by suspension of disbelief. No, that wasn't it. No. Ouch. Meanwhile, we kicked off our traditional week of Xmas challenges, a brutal gauntlet of hardcore gaming that only the strongest and most elite can survive, starting with a test to get kippers up a high mountain in Skyrim, a test that went very, very wrong for me when fate brought me back to an old enemy. Oh, wait, hang on, there's an enemy. You're joking. <laughs> 
You're joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hell is empty and all the demons are here! <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> I cannot, cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Comment on Nefarious Sarah. Didn't think you had it in you, Luke. Luke's Angry Raw is the scariest and funniest thing I've ever heard. I thought he was too soft and gentle for that kind of noise. Soft? That frost troll called down the thunder. Well, now he's got it. I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. What? No, it's just a cool thing I say sometimes. Is it in Tombstone as well? I didn't know. Moving on. Xmas wasn't just about challenges, but also the festive art of frantic miming. Cue another round of video game charades. Hmm, okay. Yeah? Uh, Four words. First word. The. Um. And. Whole. The whole thing. Wait, what? Oh, Skyrim! Uh, the, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Mm -hmm. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Sky. More typing. Um, Hacking. Hackers. Swordfish. What? No. Swordfish. No, no. <laughs> the Greatest Showman. <laughs> <laughs> Commenter Carl Nielsen got inspired by Jane and Andy's um, attempt to communicate. The amount of times Jane guessed the Elder Scrolls Swordfish makes me wish for a timeline where that game exists. I know, but why would Bethesda ever make that game? I don't know, just for the hell of it. Moving on. The Xmas challenges went on to end in the only way they could, with Ellen and I duelling to draw the best Pikachu we could in the snow. Now, now I have a lot of confidence in your Pikachus. You well, always say that mine are better, but I also think yours are great. Aw, thank you. In there. I feel like there was... I feel like there was... Yeah. No, Sometimes right. people think it's that right, we're too mean right. to each other on this, but I would like to okay, make, make it very clear that we are actually rooting for each other as well yeah. as wanting each other to fail. Ooh. Oh, look, he's going to have little feet out. Oh, okay, I see, I see. You see what I'm going yeah. for, more or less. I think I may have given him a, a belly that sticks out on Aww. one side quite a lot. Eventually, Ellen, you secured a well-deserved victory. Congratulations. Thank you. In fact, our general sportsmanship impressed Diane Miller. Actually, one of the things I like about all five of you is the way that you support one another, even when you're in direct competition. That's how it should be done. Oh, thanks, Diane. Yeah, we completely agree. She must not have seen the Mario Party live stream. Definitely not. Ellen, we got sent some incredible arts <gasps> over the festive break. What Look the at best this. Christmas presents ever. They are. Look. Oh, oh it's Cookie Wookie's drawn. The frost you, you said you just wants to be your pal. He just wants Kippers to be his friend. Just try my best to melt my heart. <laughs> I just won't look. <laughs> oh, it's really cute. Oh, it's a yeah. little hat. Oh. I like this frost troll. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. That's as far as I'm willing to go. <laughs> no. That's really adorable. It's really yeah, cute. It it's makes cute. makes even the frost troll. Even frost trolls need need a Christmas. Perhaps Aww. them even more than every, than the rest of us. So Merry Christmas, Frost Troll, and a happy new year. And it took a lot for me to say that. And then look at this, Ellen. <laughs> This is from Calasanti sent in via Twitter. Look, it's all of us celebrating the new year. There we are. We, we, we. I appear to be placing my hand. Patronizingly putting your hand. Patronize. No. With. Uh, okay, it's a little patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> this drawing's amazing, though. I really it's like super it. Super cute. I love the fireworks. I really like how you can easily tell who is who just from yeah, the backs of our heads. It's I good. really like that. I love it. I yeah. love it. And I do like the pat on the head. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sweet. So, well, buddy. Another year. <laughs> <laughs> You can't see my face on the other side. Of the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's more. Adrian Corn sent us this on this, Twitter, Ellen. This made me so happy. We are the spider folk. So good. The spider folk the world is not needed. Look how shredded I am. Yeah. <laughs> Let's focus on that primarily. I think like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, so yeah, good. Yeah, I really like our hair in this. Our, both of our, yeah, us yeah. have amazing hair in it. Also, I like your, your very good pointed toes. Yep, yes, well, 
balletic, I think. Yeah, yeah a dancer's very balletic. Legs. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. very it's oft, good. It's oft been said. <laughs> uh, it's really, really good. I really like it. I like it as much as I liked Into the Spider Verse, mm -hmm. which, which was, was a lot. A whole lot. Thank you guys for your incredible um, artwork. Next week, we're going to be taking a look at some of the amazing fan art that we got from Dungeons and Dragons. Oh stuff. my goodness. That's going to be wild. Wait. Cool. Thank you very much, guys. So, 2019. Here we go, folks. Strap in. We've already, we've already shown incredible, <laughs> incredible growth and maturity this year. My New Year's resolution was actually to draw this. So yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, so. good. That, and that was the only thing, so. Nice. Nailed it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, but seriously, I uh, hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year's. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't, we can't wait to do more cool stuff. Yep. Do, do, do the videos, mm -hmm. do more events this year as well, hopefully. It's going to be hi, great. And it'll be good. We've got some great stuff coming up uh, this year, mm -hmm. and it's all going to be kicking off with some more live streams yes. happening this week. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to them. I'm um, going to finally play Smash because I was too ill last time. Right. <laughs> the only thing sick this time is going to be Ellen's sick skills. Oh, thank you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Unless one of us is sick, in which case they'll be too sick. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Loads will show the weekend to watch. Um, also, we published so much stuff over the break. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't watched it all, then hey, maybe go back and watch it. Yeah. If the Christmas music doesn't make you feel weird, because I feel Christmas stuff makes me feel real weird as soon as it's new. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's right. actually today is the last day of Christmas. Uh, is it, yeah, is, is maybe, yeah. maybe it could well be, it could yeah. well be. Good so it's last day of Christmas. All right, tear those decorations down. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Until then, happy Happy New Year. Yeah. From the big three, Ellen, myself, and the people's hero. <laughs>